What is up my Bollywood Warriors? Welcome back to another video and the start of a new mini series where we explore everything to do with movement training and how you can get started. Movement training is kind of everything we do, but specifically in this video, I'm kind of referring to the movement flow that you see where you kind of see this dance and body weight gymnastics movements mixing together and then you end up with like kind of the stuff that Ido Portel does, I think it's Floreo, and then maybe like Animal Flow, etc. So this series is gonna be dedicated to how you can start to do this sort of movement because often you see somebody like Ido and the videos he puts out and he's doing these ridiculous moves. It's very inspirational to watch, but it's often hard to then take that and then understand how you can start to apply it to yourself and learn so you can get to that point eventually. So this is what this mini series is gonna involve. This video, I'm just gonna break down how you can start from the ground up when it comes to learning how to do movement training. And then in the following videos, I'll be going through drills, routines, etc., that you can do to keep progressing. This kind of style of training is something that I've used throughout my training as a way to keep my training playful and, and fun and move from that left brain, very analytical, very rational, to the right brain, creative, intuitive, and trying to feel and move rather than think and do. And learning how to do this, or this movement kind of thing, is basically how you'd learn to do any skill. You break it down into the smallest possible chunks that you can, and then you start combining the chunks together until eventually you have the full picture. For example, if you were learning a guitar, you'd learn how to play a note, then you'd learn how to play a chord, and then you'd start putting notes together in a scale, and you'd start putting chords together, and then eventually you'd learn a song. And then once you get to the point where you've mastered all these individual elements, you can then start creating your own music and you can start improvising and playing. This is what we're gonna do with movement training. We're gonna break it down into the bread and butter movements and then you master those elements and then you start combining the two together into chains and combinations. And then eventually you have this wide movement vocabulary of which you can just combine stuff together and create flows. So what I've done is in the description down below, I've kind of put together all the sources of information that I could find and that I've used in the past and found really useful when it comes to learning how to start with movement training. So, so down there, I've got a PDF that I put together where I basically went through Ido's old blog and I pulled out all of his Floreo routines and put them in a PDF. I think there's like 30 or more different routines and it's a great place to just look at it and go give it a try because that kind of does break it down into very simple forms and then there's a beginner, intermediate, advanced. So there's something for everyone in that PDF to get going with and get started. There is also a link to Antranix uh, Floreo project, which again is a really great source of information that kind of breaks this down as well. Another great option would be just to take up a sport like capoeira or judo, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, or even do a dance class, something that gets you into that more right brain, more reactive state where you can move out of these very basic planes of movement that we do in like a push up and a pull up and start to convert it into some sort of continuous flow. Finally, just to get you started, I'm gonna give you an example of how you basically go about combining elements. So let's start with some foundational movements. For example, the roll, the QDR push up, and the O Cortado. So these are like three foundational movements in Ido Portal's Floreo, which is essentially capoeira as far as I'm aware. What we might start off doing is we might perfect those movements. So example, we would train individually the roll and we would train individually the QDR push-up or O Cortado. So that would be our individual training. We're breaking it down into those blocks and learning the individual parts. Once we get better at that, we might start combining it. So we might do a roll into QDR push-up, and that would be a two chain movement pattern. So that's a nice little simple combination. And then once we get good at that, we might then throw the O portado on top. And that is our three chain. And that's kind of like a movement flow. And basically from there, increasing the complexity, keep adding stuff on, keep going for different progressions and making things harder. You could also do this in your training as well. If you get bored of just doing individual exercise together, you can start working on combinations. So for example, on the rings, if you can do ring dits and you can do an L sit and other bits and bobs, you could start then combining that into like a mini rings routine. So you might jump on the rings, you might do five ring dips, you might go into an L sit hold, you might drop back into a front lever, etc. There's, there's unlimited possibilities of how you can flow different standard exercises and combine them in together into a routine or a flow. It doesn't have to just be movement. But that is kind of it for today's video, guys. This was mainly just to get a bunch of information out there 
especially those links in the description down below so you can get started straight away and start working on some movement training. I'm not saying I'm a movement expert by any means, but this is something that I've used in the past and I really do enjoy playing with. I think it's a nice way to mix up training, keep it playful, keep it enjoyable. And if you do have any questions or anything that's on your mind and you don't quite understand or something you want to learn, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to include it in this mini series. Why not leave a like as well if you enjoy this video and you're excited for the series. But that is it for this week, guys. Have a strong week and peace.